Hi, beautiful souls. This is Ashu here and welcome to my channel. I welcome you, welcome you and welcome you from the bottom of my heart. Blessings and lots of love to all of you wherever you are. And my heartfelt gratitude for my current subscribers because every subscriber and every like I get definitely helps my channel to grow. And I am really deeply grateful to all of you for your support. And if you would like to support my channel's growth further, uh, keep watching my videos and don't forget to press the super sticker underneath this video. <laughs> I appreciate support of all of you. And let's get started with today's video as today's video is going to be about Kundalini awakening and how it is affecting or it affects uh, the concept of self that I'm going to share with you that how Kundalini awakening has uh, shifted my perception of the concept around the self and what is happening in this universal process and all of us who are going through this process, how it is shifting the center of focus that uh, was placed on our sense of self and what this whole process feels like. So stay tuned to this. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so stay tuned to this video if you would like to understand how Kundalini awakening is shifting your awareness around the concept and the sense of self. Kundalini awakening is all about a sequence of transformations that are happening within your consciousness from one stage to another to third and so forth. And this is a, a lifelong process unless uh, you begin to feel yourself coming in alignment with that integrative aspects of the Kundalini process where you are beginning to feel more peaceful, you are beginning to uh, feel more self-contented, you are beginning to um, feel more connected and interconnected. So first it is about your connection to the self and that sense of safe connection that you are establishing within your own sense of self and how and and when this is happening the beautiful thing about the kundalini process is that when she's making you aware of the concept or the sense of self it is making you see through the entire process through which you have grown up so basically it is deconditioning deconditioning your roots uh, from your cultural behavioral patterns and communication styles that you had come to learn uh, from the aspect of your adaptive child self. Now, we may ask what is adaptive child self? So I've taken up this term from an attachment style theory. And this is very much applicable to those who are undergoing intense and deep spiritual awakening or healing process that your adaptive child is getting an opportunity to go through the evolutionary process. You are completing those developmental stages of your childhood that you couldn't complete in your childhood because there was a lack of ideal parenting conditions or ideal uh, primary care giving was not present in the environment. So first of all, Kundalini energy wants to bring you into your original sense of self. That is how universe uh, vibrates at the highest frequency and resonance of love, compassion, and health and happiness and peace. So when you came into this world, you were in this higher vibrational frequency. But when you didn't get those ideal caregiving conditions, that is, I think, true for everybody around the world, that those ideal conditions are absent. And that is where our growth and self-development uh, comes into focus that 
the primary focus of any self-development is to evolve through our adaptive child behaviors and communication patterns so that we can start connecting with the higher vibrational frequencies. And this is an entire process which requires a lot of self-reflection, a self-care, self-help, and intrapersonal skills. Now, intrapersonal skills, intracommunication skills, like how you communicate with your sense of self, how you do inner reflection. Do you ever do inner reflection? Do you know or do you identify what thoughts run through your mind? Which of those thoughts are unhealthy? Which thoughts are healthy? So this entire gamut, this process of evolution requires us to go through that so that we can cleanse anything that is not vibrating at the higher frequencies. So there's a kind of dual awareness operating, a part of you that is observing your own mind and its uh, patterns that you have acquired as a part of your caregiving or culture or social structures, whatever you acquired, a part of you is conditioned, immersed into that conditioning. And another part that is evolving in your Kundalini process is making you observe this part. So you are kind of operating in this dual awareness like up and down. You're going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> so you're playing around in this up and down. And it's important to play. If you don't play, you're gone. You're gone, you're gone. <laughs> So identifying and learning to play, the play interplay of this process becomes very important to maintain that balance and to pull yourself through this process or to navigate through this process with courage and with a sense of balance, though you're feeling so imbalanced in this process, but still that is your test that are you able to maintain your balance and are you able to navigate through this process with that sense of trust and surrender as you're losing your balance, as you are seeing something that was in shadows for so long and that you were identifying with for so long. Now you're able to see it and you have no referencing to um, heal that in that moment when you're identifying, but that is what you are jumping into the next step with that identifying. First you identify, then you figure out how to go around that identification, how to transmute that identification. You have to feel the texture of that identification. You have to feel the patterns associated with that identification. And you have to see yourself playing through those patterns throughout your life over the years. And now you have made a decision to transmute. And then transmutation is another sequence of skill level you require where you have to learn to shift and give yourself the time, space, patience, trust, and self-care to go through that entire process of relearning, re-educating, and rewiring your consciousness and your brain. So this is a very exhaustive process. And there is no escape. <laughs> Kundalini process is not like an escape room that you have entered um, and you can call somebody from during emergency and you will be rescued. Here, there is no rescuer. You are your own rescuer. So you have to solve every puzzle on the way if you want to emerge successfully into light from that darkness of the <laughs> game room and escape room. So just play it like a game and it's going to make your journey a little more um, eased out, I would say. <laughs> so Kundalini is trying to shift your concept of self because when we were talking about adaptive child and now we know what adaptive child is and so it is basically trying to pull you out of those behavioral patterns which lacked those conditions or environments where you could get 
the ideal set of renting environment, the conditions, parenting environmental conditions. And now it wants to reparent you. And so it is bringing your focus to the self so that you can uproot yourself from what was not, what it doesn't want uh, to sail with any longer. So you have to come out of the old and step into the new consciousness that, and to step into the new consciousness, it's very important to understand what is a healthy sense of self. What are those vibrational frequencies that resonate at the higher uh, vibration, like unconditional love, loving yourself unconditionally first, only then you will be able to have an experience of what it means to love someone unconditionally. Because when you begin to go through this entire process of uh, shifting and transmuting, there's an entire sequence of skills you will be learning like trust, surrender, grieving, forgiveness, compassion, nurturing. And when you're doing it to yourself, you are developing that skill set in your soul in your memory system and it's becoming a part of you so that you can see it in others and when you see somebody not behaving well even and they are behaving from those adaptive child patterns you are much more inclined to forgive them because you have done it to yourself so you can extend that sense of compassion and unconditional love to other people, even though you are seeing that the way they're operating from is their adaptive child uh, conditions. But this is what's happening to your sense of self through all that trust, patience, surrender, grieving, forgiveness, and self-compassion and self-love that is, you're able to see where they're coming from, but you're not judging you are just extending compassion instead of reacting. So you're becoming less reactive in this entire process through all that good work you will be doing that will be expanding your sense of self. And that is expanding your interconnectedness to your surroundings, to the patterns, to the people around you. You're able to see the universal nature of energy as it operates through each one of us and that gives you a sense of how we are vibrating as the beings of energy frequencies and it really helps to cut down that egoic judgment from your day-to-day -day life decision making your behaviors your communication styles as well as your uh, sense of judgment and also you're releasing as you're expanding your sense of self a lot of fear-based consciousness because a lot of fear-based consciousness what is the origin of the fear-based consciousness that is the division that we feel through the adaptive behaviors because adaptive behaviors or adaptive child segregates separates himself or herself from others because it wants to survive through certain set of circumstances where it felt a sense of threat so that survival brain uh, is in operation subconsciously we can say unless we desire or create an intention to heal the adaptive parts of our consciousness, which were um, operating through the survival mindset. And when we go through this process, it is expanding our concept of the sense of self and making us understand that how we are interconnected with each other on the level of energy, energetic dimensions. And that is also making your sense of self come into harmony and alignment uh, with how you are resonating your sense of self resonates 
uh, through different vibrational frequencies and it is shifting in each moment. Your vibrational frequency is shifting in each moment. So you are kind of understanding the flexibility and adaptability that your energetic field holds so that fixedness, the fixatedness, the stubbornness that is associated with ego is getting a chance to uh, get cleansed in the process through opening of that part of your awareness. So your sense of self is kind of expanding, becoming more fluid, becoming more adaptive 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 in a in a healthy way this is not that adaptive child patterns that was trying to safeguard himself or herself from the dangerous circumstances or environments or the presence of threat but this is happening like more um, malleable more adaptive self that knows that energy can be shifted and each moment so your brain is kind of you are able to see the plasticity of the brain and the reprogramming systems, how they work. And that is who we are, essentially magical creatures who can manifest our realities when we are able to touch those textures and feel those textures of our beingness as um, creatures of vibrational frequencies that divine has gifted to us and when we cut through the density of that egoic thoughts and stories and perceptual systems and beliefs that we had carried or we are carrying in our consciousness through our specific set of conditioning so when the conditioning is wiping itself from your a slate of your consciousness, you are coming in touch with that universal set of um, energetic principles and how these energetic principles are so empowering and they are so high vibrational free, uh, frequencies that really help you to uh, stay inspired and see hope and feel motivated and know that you have the power to shift and create possibilities. So I think I just feel like stopping here. <laughs> so I will end this video. I thank you all for your support again. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have not done so, I will see you in the next video. Till then, you stay blessed wherever you are. Bye-bye.